So Steve Watson was once again playing up front alongside Radzinski. Siemensen, the young keeper, continuing in goal. As for Southampton, that was the side that Gordon Strachan went in. Uh, with two of his old regulars at Coventry now, starters for Southampton, Williams and Telfer. Up front, it was Beatty and Pahars. Our match commentators at Goodison Park, Andy Gray and Martin Tyler. Black armbands, the order of the day, at the loss of the city of Liverpool's Beetle, George Harrison, one of the most famous sons of Merseyside. Here's David Unsworth. Beatty. Southampton relieved to have lifted what was becoming a curse at St Mary's, their new home, but Goodison Park has often been a, a graveyard for their hopes. They have had some hammerings here. Having a 7-1 defeat in the Premiership. Gravis. Here's Chris Marsden. Gordon Strachan has been pleased with the way uh, the side of... Uh, adapted to the style of play that he wants they've been getting their crosses in as marsden was looking to do there they've been getting their shots on goal somehow they conspired to lose at derby when the opposition didn't have a, a shot on target <laughs> but here's gemmel alexanderson to the right gemmel finds it deflection off the, the southampton leg and jeff winter gives the corner Piece of defending that. That was a lovely break from Everton. They had support coming on the outside. Decided to go on his own, Alex Anderson. Alan Stubbs and David Weir join Watson. Paul Jones uh, had only a packing hand on it. It fell kindly for the Southampton goalkeeper. Finding himself at right back, the left sided midfield man. I have to say, man, that kind of ball that drops down there off the goalkeeper is a kind of ball. If you've got two in the edge of the box, as Evan had with Gravison and Scott Gemmell, they really need a reaction. It's a kind of ball we should have been challenging for. Alex Anderson, after some good tussling by Radzinski. Radzinski's cross. Gravison very close to connecting with it. Headed back in by Gemmel, headed out by Williams. Well, oh, that was close, wasn't it? Great ball, great run from Gravison. Lovely touch there by Marsden. Radzinski drilled it in from the far side. Well, I thought he was going to take it right-footed, Mark, but he, he checked back what that did by checking back. He plays it in now. He only has Watson in the box. So he buys a bit of time, a few seconds. Oh, almost right on cue. Grabs his arrival. Gordon Strachan. Up against uh, Walter Smith. Probably played against each other in a Tayside derby. Yep. We all took part in that game, you know. And uh, a very fine save from Telfer by Simonson, emphasising the, uh, the form that he's brought into what he might feel is a belated chance in the Premiership. Well, this is a lovely strike from Telfer. Just drops him. There's a little bit of fortune in how it arrived at him. He's not been fortunate about the strike or the save. Telfer's next job is to take the corner. This is a good spell for Southampton. Oh, and it was very nearly that collector's item of Klaus Lundekram's opening goal. Not just of the game, but of his Southampton career. Well, this is just instinctive from Lundekram. Ball played back in, he just reacts to it. I think the goalkeeper's happy, it's within reaching distance. The yard either side, he'd been picking out the net. Bridge with the corner. Watson. Back on defensive duty in Southampton uh, have begun brightly and Everton need Watson there to defend at the near post. Well, they've a good possession, Mark. They're dominating the ball at the moment. Everton can't keep possession at all. 
Van uh, trying to flick it on. He's got to make sure look at Everton at the moment. You don't concede. Southampton playing pretty well, looking pretty confident. Beating on well to Paha. thinking about shooting but he thought for too long because Marsden came fighting in with the challenge recognising the danger <laughs> to Stoney's throw Marsden gets it away BT helps it off Svensson Looking for BT, doesn't get the elevation of the cross cut out by the head of Weir. The opening 20 minutes has been rather more red and white than blue and white. Just little things like that. Everton's use of possession of the ball hasn't been as good as Southampton's at the moment, Martin. to Williams but uh, stuck out the chest effectively that but he couldn't get uh, across quickly to make it inconvenient for Simonson the fact that uh, he's been the busier goalkeeper again emphasizes the brightness of uh, Southampton's approach away game out of 14 they've won at Bolton and Middlesbrough but lost the other five he's waiting again he better be careful he was waiting that time because Beatty had his back turned he's in position now and he's uh, picked out and now Everton challenge on the player most likely to uh, receive a Southampton free kick in those circumstances. Telfer. Martin coming in behind Beatty. Oh, too good to see. He's been a long time getting his place and keeping it. But this is why he was bought all those years ago for this kind of ability. First one way to his left. That the more difficult one simply because of the pace of it. This one's an instinctive save, close in, close to him. Stops. That was Weir. Weir again. It's one for Watson to fight for. And uh, he run it well. Similar methods really from uh, both sides. Watson. Set up inviting the uh, shot. That was what an effort. Spencer. He goes from long distance and uh, that had uh, Stevenson a bit more concern. Well, you know when the goalkeepers are worried, don't they? When the ball struck from distance and dismissed Beatties but this one had his attention all of it made sure he covered the post 
Was it going to be beat? Well, this is all surely the last kick of the match, the first half. Alex Anderson takes it. Half time at Goodison. City of goalkeeper Steve Simonson with a, a couple of fine saves. Southampton have uh, played with a sense of purpose, particularly for the opening 20 25 minutes when they passed it with zest. Steve Watson has done his best to lead uh, Everton forward. At half time, it's 0 0. Smith has uh, changed the personnel and uh, Steve Watson still needed at the sharp end of things, things that could get a bit sharper. And he's immediately penalised at the start of the second half. Watson there in front of Lundekvart, but Williams in front of Radzinski. Marsden looking for Beatty. Well, if he'd found him then, he'd uh, got into a threatening position on the side. He was uh, in front of Naismith. This may be reflecting on the moment he passed Southampton by as the ball passed him by. Stubbs. Zinski dropped to that time, but Midfield support was a bit slow arriving, very slow. Oakley. Good play by Southampton again, Pahas. BT looking for Marsden, there's no BT in the box of course, and it's rather a conspicuous absence of the first time Cross came in. Watson, that's a wonderful first time pass from Steve Watson to Radzinski. Radzinski going for goal himself! <laughs> I'll tell you what, Martin Watson's touch was great, but what about the ball from Pembridge? How on here does he dig that pass out? He's going up a cul-de-sac for me. Ten yards from his own goal line. This is an incredible dig out. That one, an unbelievable touch there. And oh, the Paul Williams doesn't react, Martin. I'm thinking, where are you going? Where are you going? He's so slow to react to the danger of Radzinski, but he's far too late coming across. By then, this guy said he's head up, he's picked his spot. What a turnaround. So left footer, he takes it, Mark Pembridge. Shouldered out by Williams, Oakley. Marsden. Put it up as far as Pahas. Kostonik. Radzinski got away again and uh, took the ball very confidently. Watson. Right, that's finished by Lundekvam. Crossed by Gravison. Watson flicks on. Cambridge will keep it in. Can he stand it up here? Get the elevation. The clear dot. I think that might well have been stopped by the hand of Lindic Van Man, but I think it would have been a pretty soft penalty. The ball was rolling harmlessly through to Paul Jones. Castone. He's past Marsden, the Italian. And Williams looked round anxiously, hoping that it was a teammate who was going to get a boot to it, and it was, it was Klaus Lundekvart. There's an extra zip and zest about Everton. Gascoigne. Gascoigne takes Southampton on. Paul Gascoigne, beaten out by Paul Jones, Watson. Well, we'll turn the clock back there, didn't we, mate? Just for a few seconds, this was the Paul Gascoigne of old, the little step over, the drive in between players, the determination at the end of it to force his way through. My goodness, he'd have lifted the roof off this place had he scored there, Martin. 
Even the arm around the opponent yeah, as well, which is, is a trademark. It was all there, just for a second or two. <laughs> and even then, the disappointment that he hasn't scored. Well, he has scored this season in the Premiership for Everton at Bolton. And again, that Everton uh, seemed to have won. They uh, let it slip in the last minute at the Reebok. Went to calling Gary Nason at the cross. I think he got both. I think that was that would be my interpretation of that. Right foot got the ball, left foot took BT. Time honoured fashion. <laughs> Kelfer with the free kick. And Lundekvam claiming that he was shirt was being pulled. Seems to have got himself into quite a good position. I think David Weir got all lost there. I think Lundig Van was right. I think there was contact. of Southampton. Well, there was talk in both penalty areas he's been involved with Dick Van. He wanted a penalty at one end, but this is a little incident when I think he goes to ground and I think he stops the ball with foot and arm, but I think that would have been a really harsh decision a penalty being given here. This loses his footing a little, and up it comes, and it's involuntary. Radzinski challenging Southampton again. Gravison. So much more positive with the Smith side in the second half. Gascoy. Beautifully worked with Pembridge, the two substitutes for the second half. It's still Gather. It's another run. It's a goal kick. And plenty of smiles all round. You know, just once or twice, you know, he just shows glances like this. And wonderful lot of into passing with him and Pembridge. They've made a difference in the ability to keep the ball. And when he tricks Lundick Wan there, I think the arm comes up on the shoulder from Jason Dodd, but not enough. Not enough. He's 34 now. His very first uh, start in league football was for Newcastle against Southampton back in 1985. Rosinski oh, chasing. Williams. Ha-ha. Sliding it down cleverly for Spencer. The tougher can't have the touch. That was promising. Pity that. Touch let him down badly. Oakley. Looking towards the top at right back, but he took too long. Gravison. It's Radzinski again. It's his slot again, but it's not his goal again. Brilliant save. Maybe he learned from the one that went past him, Paul Jones. That was a smash and break, wasn't it? And Welsh International keeping Southampton in it here. Gascoigne. 
back from Stubbs. Now Marsden. Footwork from Pahas, Svensson, but Stubbs given a chance to make the challenge. Dodd backing up the play, Marsden lets it run, it took Beatty by surprise. Collected here by Telfer. Be able to get to that. Gemmel's in. Gravison's in. Gravison again. What a waste. What a waste. Well, Bridge got it off the line first up. And you don't often see Walter Smith get uh, as animated as that. He's furious. He knows it should be 2 0. Gravison takes the corner. Weir. Uh, you don't often see Walter Smith, but sure, that can match at any time, man. But this is a glorious opportunity to put this game beyond Southampton. And they really worked the ball brilliantly here. Brzezinski to Gemmel. Fabulous foot. Now put your foot through it. That, for me, is just a waste. And even then, when he could play Gemmel back in again, with an easy little square ball after making a complete mess of this, he doesn't do so. A real chance. Well, it's all about decision making in those positions, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, if he'd uh, if he blasted it, I suppose it would be easy to say, well, dink it over the goalkeeper. <laughs> anyway, here's Gravison. It's still 1-0. Everton haven't eased uh, their manager's anxieties. They certainly look capable of doing that and getting a second. Gravison bulldozing on. Davis chasing. And... Uh, Really given a chance to steal it there when uh, Stubbs and Simerson hesitated momentarily. Pahas. Working wider positions as Southampton trying to find a route to get back into the game. Svensson shot. Blocked rather painfully by James Beatty. Almost set up Pahas inadvertently. Looked very much on target as well. Gravison. Gemmel. First, the Southampton goal. Good technique, he be a man. Oh, there's nothing that. wrong with his technique. It's no. appetite for yeah. scoring that he has shown in the past. Maybe Please. under a new manager, is being uh, encouraged to get forward uh, more often. Maybe he and Stefan also should have a, a competition. <laughs> Who's going to get a goal first? Lundqvist crossed the halfway yeah. line. Also <laughs> <laughs> doesn't allow himself such luxury. But I certainly, you certainly feel that Southampton are very much in this game. I think Walter Smith will be absolutely furious that it isn't beyond Southampton now. Well, this could be it at the moment for Gravison. Cut to the manager. Do you fancy 1-1? One, one? I'll tell you. You just cannot believe the way that they spring this boy open twice like this high wide handsome we're we'll tracking Lundqvam Svensson on the line by Gravison that's as close as Southampton have come well, he's somewhat way made up for those uh, misses at the other end. Well, all that's forgiven comes to mind. Doesn't really bounce, it skids along the ground and you know, just did enough. And he was aware enough not to throw a leg at that and just scuff it into the net. 
Here's Barhart. Bridge goes ahead of it. Put away well by David Weir. Watson with a defender's tackle. <laughs> and then a, a thoughtful pass from Steve Watson. Graveson goes for the ball for Pembridge. Splendid goal for Everton. Walter Smith is a happy man now, and Graveson supplied the chance, having missed the earlier ones, and Mark Penbridge took it. Well, what a happy side Graveson, Mark. But this all finishes so very, very well for the Dane. This is a magnificent cross. He looks up, he sees Penbridge busting a gut to get in back post. Really determined to drive in there, and he drops it right on the money of the cross. And frustration turns to joy for Walter Smith. Davis. Gemmel. Gascoigne was caught by Telfer. Fahaz. There's something in it for Southampton. No. Not even in stoppage time. Not even from their leading scorer. Yeah, just leaning back here, Paul just gets caught at the edge of the box. First time in the match, really. As you can see, always on the way back, leaning back, never really over the top of the ball. I don't think you can argue with this. I think second half performance, Everton have probably just deserved this one. Created a number of excellent opportunities, second half. Well, Southampton certainly shaded the first half. Mm -hmm. but, uh, had nothing to show for it. Now Williams again getting a sympathetic vote from Jeff Winter. I think 70 Graveson. second minute mark that might have been different. I think that's sensible. Jeff Winter, I think, had he not already known he'd booked him, might well have done so there. Tins on Kevin Campbell and Duncan Ferguson, but if they're not ready, Steve Watson may well find himself up front again in the next game. Strong and satisfying second half for Walter Smith and for Everton. Two changes made at the break, and it worked out. Thomas Radzinski rounding off a move that was started by Mark Pembridge and Pembridge himself wrapped the game up and Everton worthy winners in the end they go into the top half of the table they've beaten Southampton by two goals to nil well I mean if you had been in the dressing room half time it was a nice dressing room McGaffer went absolutely ballistic on Archie and like I said we can do better than that in the first half and uh, what was said in the dressing obviously got the lads jade up and uh, like I said, I just had to like to come on and just play me part, like, you know. And I was just about getting amongst them first because if we, if we give them a little bit of a time in the first half and they start playing, I wonder I will stop that in a second. And it was great finish by Raj, and I thought we had a couple more chances near the end. It's not been a good day for us. Um, I come up here with high hopes after the performances recently. And uh, it's quite depressing, really. And it hurts. And uh, we should all be hurting. And uh, we've got about four and a half hours on that bus going home. So I hope we take the four and a half hours plus the rest of the week before we start one again next week. And it hurts. 